several different heretics. All right, so so the way this works is uh, um, I have gathered tw 10 tweets from um, well-known preachers or pastrixes, which is what we're... I have... Th uh, the tweets today are from all female females who claim to be pastors, and they are... Uh, and again, Chris, these are going to be more difficult for you. Okay. okay. Um, so I'm going to read the tweet, and then uh, Len and Chris are going to try to uh, tell us, guess, who, who made that tweet out of the three individuals. Please and, tell me this is multiple choice. Yes. The three individuals are uh, Patricia King, <laughs> Lisa Olstein Combs. How, oh. is, that, is that how you say her last name? Gomez, Gomez, you pronounce it. Gomez. Uh huh. And the third, Paula White. Wow. Okay. So, as you know, Chris, it's going to be more difficult this time. Yeah, because uh, Lisa Osteen and Paula White are kind of in the same theological spectrum. Which Which one of those uh, do you? Which one of those three do you think has the largest following on Twitter? Oh boy! If I had to guess. Um, I would actually say Lisa Osteen, uh, Comez, uh, because Paula White, she has had a very difficult time in her career getting into the mainstream of evangelicalism. Well, uh, then she's on the Trump train, though. Well, yeah, that's a different thing altogether. So can't you can't wait to ha hear an invocation. Trump's <laughs> not going to Paula White. Huh? Can right. we expect a review of that? <laughs> I'm probably going to be pouring acid on my eyeballs accidentally. But um, anyway. Lisa Lisa Comez Comez has one tenth of the following on Twitter as Paula White. Okay, so all right, Paula White has over half a million followers. Uh, Patricia serious. King only twenty four thousand. Lisa <laughs> Lisa oh, also I'll call her Lisa Olstein because she's Joel Olstein's sister. Sister. Yep. Uh, Lisa has only fifty three thousand. Right, boy. Well, now we're giving her all this attention. She's going to get at least two, three hundred more. Yeah, yeah. Yay. All right. Okay, all right. So I'm going to read a tweet, and uh, now I'll let you guys know that nine of these tweets are from uh, one of these ladies, and one is a, uh, is a surprise. All right, so you, you've got to always be wondering if the surprise. You have a wild card in there. Wild card, yes. yes. All right. Very wild. All right, so we we will uh, <clears throat> let Chris go first, and uh, we, we're going to go back and forth by who's going to answer first. So we can steal? If, if he gets it wrong, I get the chance to no, steal? No, we're going to let him guess first, and then you can agree with him or choose somebody else, and then I'll, I'll reveal you. Yeah, I'm just going to agree with him the whole way. I don't have a shot. Yeah, That's what that. kidding me. You gotta, you gotta let him go first. Yeah, yeah, he's going to, uh, we're going to alternate. Okay. I mean, so uh, Chris, Chris is going to go first on this one. Yeah. Uh, the battle is not yours, but the Lord's. You may have to face the enemy, but God will fight him for you. Hashtag trust God. Hmm. White King or Olstein? I'm going to go with Olstein. Really? Okay, because that sounds Patricia Kingy to me. So I, I'm saying Patricia King. You're both wrong. It's Paula White. Oh, no, you said it was going to be harder. That's right. Okay, all right. <laughs> and now I won't be able to sleep all, all that. All that talk of the enemy, that's, that comes more from Patricia King, I th or so I thought. Okay. I've not proven wrong on my theory. Next one is for Len to go first. Len, here it is. Encountering God through visions and trances. And with this tweet, there was a video of this person explaining that encountering God through visions and trances. Okay. okay. So who, who would have shared a video of themselves and en encountering God through visions and trances? I would say that would be, um, I'm sticking with Patricia King on that. Yeah. I, I'm going to say absolutely. In fact, she has a recent episode of her program dealing with, uh, visions and trances that's dedicated to that so yeah and you would be correct wow as soon as he agreed i, I knew i had it right so that yeah. felt good 
Next one. Uh, this is Chris can go first. When God gives you a promise, seek him on the timing and journey of seeing it. Let me say that again. When God gives you a promise, seek him on the timing and journey of seeing it come to pass. He wants to bless you. Chris. All right, I'm going to go with Lisa Osteen again. Yep, oh, that's Lisa Osteen, yep. Comez. And you both got it wrong. It was Patricia King. What? Wow. Tweeted on November 22. <laughs> oh, wow, you, you can't do this based purely on theology now. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about harder, man. Birds of a feather. I mean, why don't you throw Nadia Bowles Weber in there? It might help distinguish <laughs> a bit, you know. Next one, next tweet is is uh, this. And who's going first? This uh, Len's going first. Uh, when we go to Christ with the things that are troubling us, he provides us with divine peace and lifts our troubles from us. Hashtag Jesus calling. Is, I gotta go first. Oh man! So she's um, quoting Sarah Young, <clears throat> Paula White, Chris. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Paula White too. It is uh, Olstein. <laughs> I wanted to humble Chris Roseboro by doing that's this. Working, that's working. That's <laughs> working. I, I'm uncle, uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they are they are tough. Uh, I, I got to tell you what's really funny on this is that the re reason I went with Paula White is not because of the theology because it could have gone either way because I question whether or not Lisa Olstein knew how to use a hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> I was just playing the ads like we haven't had a Paula White one yet, so yeah, yeah. no, we had one. The first one was Paula White. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, next one. Uh, and uh, looks like uh, Chris is going to weigh in first on this one. The score is one to one. Mm -hmm. And uh, here's the tweet. Some of your enemies will regret messing with you when they see the hashtag promises of God come to pass. Some of your enemies will mess with you. huh? I'm going to go with Paula White. I'm going Patricia King. It is Patricia King. Oh. I got to do the discount double check since the Packers are playing now. <laughs> 28 to 13. Packers are down Flames, flames, I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, next one. We will go to... Um, Len goes first. Mm-hmm. Nothing can stop God's plan for your life. Isaiah 14, 27. There is no person or plan or trial or failure that can keep you from your destiny. Lisa Olstein, Comez. Yeah, I'm going to agree. I'm going to agree on that one. You are both correct. All right. Well, well now the fun part of this the, the theological part we're missing uh why is that a bad tweet chris there oh. is no person or plan or trial or failure that can keep you from your destiny uh well let's kind of start with the twisting of isaiah 14. i think that would be your obvious i uh idea of what's wrong with this but the other thing is is that it totally assumes uh, what i call the dream destiny thingy doctrine um which basically says that God has a unique dream destiny thingy to reveal to you and that somehow the Christian life and why you go to church is so that you can figure out what that is so that you can achieve it. And then all of the Bible stories are written to show you these fellows in the Bible, they all achieve their dream destiny thingy too. So we can look at their lives as we try to fulfill ours. And it's just utter narcissistic gobbledygook and nonsense. It's not what the Bible's about at all. Right, and that's what it it's it's preying on the biblical illiteracy of the masses. If if you're not defining your terms, like yeah, that sounds total. Of course, you know nothing can stand the way of God. So, you know, what if God's plan is to have you stoned publicly and hung from a bridge? You know, He's not gonna nothing can thwart that either. You know, 
Yeah, and then you think of those apostles, you know, after they were beaten and flogged for the first time, they rejoiced that they were found worthy to suffer shame for the name. It's like, yeah, I don't think Elisa Osteen could uh, survive such a thing. So, and those at Lakewood would, I'm telling you, would clear right out if they started like executing and martyring Christians because that's not why they're Christians. They're Christians in order to, well, to to be successful in this life, not to be hated. Oh, see, I think that would become the state church when persecution comes. That'll be the acceptable church to go to. Yeah, yeah, Lakewood, yeah, okay, all right. All right, with six questions, the score is three to two. Bible thumping wingnut over, that is right, folks, over fighting for the faith. We have four more questions, though, four more tweets. This one goes to Chris first, and that is... God will restore everything you lost in your life and more. Hashtag restoration. Okay. This could either be Patricia King or Paula White. I'm gonna I'm gonna go that route. I gotta figure out which of those two. Say it again. God will restore everything you lost in your life and more. Hashtag restoration. Hmm. Okay. It can go either way, but I'm gonna go with Patricia King. See, and I was, I, my Paula White radar flashed on that. So I'm going with my gut and saying Paula White. All right. Paula White is correct. (laughs) Did he fall out of his chair? Oh, he's back. Okay. I thought he was raptured there for a second. (laughs) Silly. Okay. (laughs) Silly. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Who went first on that one? Uh, Chris. I did. I did, yeah. Yeah, that was. Well, we should throw that one out, don't you think, Chris? Uh, Len was supposed to go first on that one. No, no, no. It, 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 he got the point fair and square. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Len goes first, then, right? Yes. Manipulating people to make decisions to experience life transformation by filling out connection cards is not the same thing as making disciples. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm guessing that was our curveball. I'm going to say Chris Rosebra tweeted that, and it was neither A, B, nor C. Chris? Yes, I, I, I'm responsible for that tweet, but I am not a pastrix. If you would have kept your mouth shut and not started waving your arms wildly, you would have gained a point. <laughs> right. Yeah, like he, so you think you I apparently think, think I'm an idiot. <laughs> that doesn't quite sound like Patricia King. Was it Lisa Comez? I <laughs> Well, he would have to go outside the box and I don't know that he would he would uh, however you did you did mention connect cards already. And, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I did. Yeah. So uh, we have a score of one, two, five to three with one question left. There's no way to win. I've I've been defeated. The pirate has gone down in flames. We'll let uh, Chris go first. Rise up and shine for your light has come. The shiny greatness of the Lord has risen upon you. Great God's greatness shines over you today. (laughs) <laughs> the shiny greatness of the Lord. Shiny greatness of the Lord. And the Holy Spirit's a blue genie, you know. <laughs> From Aladdin. And he's God. funny. Okay, I, I'm just going to go with Patricia King on that because it sounds like something she would say because she claims that she's been, she's seen God, you know, so so she knows about God's shiny greatness. I, I was thinking Lisa Olstein on that one, actually. Final score, 3-3 three, three for Chris Roseboro in six. Oh, that, did that I get that one? Was, that was Lisa Olstein Comez. But she hasn't been to heaven like Patricia King has. <laughs> <laughs> I'm defeated. I'm defeated. Those, I'm, 